Now we're going to find a primitive or um, we're going to integrate the sine inverse of the square root of x dx. As we see here, we don't have bounds for this uh, integral. Okay, but uh, we will have to explain all the steps. That means we need to find the domain of definition of our function here and any change of variable that we're going to do later. Okay, so the key idea is that if uh, you want to solve this problem, find the domain of this function and see what you can do with that. Okay, let's solve this, this, uh, the, this integral then. The first thing that we need to do is we need to see that this uh, uh, function, the sine inverse of the square root of x, is defined only if the, uh, the square root of x is between minus 1 and 1. But here, the square root of x is defined when x is between 0 and 1. Therefore, we need to have this condition. And this condition gives us that uh, uh, x is between 0 and 1. OK. Now we're going to use a change of variable to get rid of the sine inverse and the square root together. And the best option, I believe, is to let y uh, be the sine inverse of the square root of x. Here, when x is between 0 and 1, y is going to be between 0 and pi over 2. Okay? So we have no problem here. Okay? And therefore, we can take the inverse, the sine, the sine and we get uh, sine of y is the square root of x, and therefore, x is sine square root of y okay now to find dx we can just integrate we get 2 sine y cosine y dy and the, this is just sine of 2y dy and therefore our integral is now y sine of 2y dy okay so here this is a simpler uh, integral to work with we can use integration by part here but if we try to do it here this one will be difficult okay now we're gonna use the tabular method of integration by part we're gonna differentiate y and we're gonna integrate sine of 2y here so we integrate y one time and another time to get zero and here uh, we uh, uh, integrate, get the cosine of 2y, and we integrate one more time to get sine of 2y. And therefore, plus minus, and we multiply with a tilted multiplication, we get that our integral is going to be uh, in this case, it's going to be uh, one four sine of two y minus y over two cosine of two y okay so let's call this one i okay so i is in this 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 in this form plus some c but we need to replace y okay so our y was uh, uh, sine inverse of the square root of x minus sine inverse square root of x over 2 times cosine of 2 sine inverse of the square root of x okay well, we we will have to do one more step or two steps we need to simplify this expression here okay using the rules of of the sine okay here we have the sine of 2 alpha that means sine of 2 sine alpha times cosine alpha we're going to use that so we're going to have one half so the sine of the sine inverse of the square root of x is just square root of x times the sine uh times the cosine of uh, the sine inverse of the square root of x okay minus 
sine inverse of the square root of x over 2. Here we're going to use the property 1 minus 2 sine squared of the sine inverse of the square root of x, which is going to give us x. Okay? So here, this is just x. And therefore, we need to simplify. The only thing that we need to simplify is the, the cosine of the sine inverse of the square root of x. Okay? So this is the, 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 the part that we need to simplify here. Okay? If we call the... If we call the sine inverse of the square root of x alpha, let me call it alpha, the sine inverse of the square root of x alpha, therefore, uh, in, in, in this case, I'm going to get uh, the sine of alpha is going to be the square root of x. Okay? And we know that uh, in, 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 in this case here, uh, uh, we can use a right triangle. Let's call this angle alpha. And we have the sine, okay? So this is square root of x, this is 1. And therefore, the cosine of alpha is going to be uh, 1 minus x, the square root of 1 minus x. Therefore, I can simplify here to get 1 half the square root of x times the square root of 1 minus x minus uh, sine inverse minus sine inverse of the square root of x times over 2 times 1 minus 2x okay and this is my my integral in this case okay it's a bit long but uh, this is the truth this is the value of it okay so we have used many techniques to find this one so it's one half the square root of x times square root of one minus x minus sine inverse of the square root of x over two times one minus two x. Okay, plus a constant c that I forgot. Okay, so this is the value of our integral here. We don't have we 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 don't want to integrate. We just want to find the primitive. Okay, and the primitive is this one here that we found. Okay. Anyways, if you see any errors or mistakes, please let us know. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again.